Ezra chapter 2 begins, Now these are the children of the province that went up out of the captivity of those which had been carried away, whom Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had carried away unto Babylon, and came again unto Jerusalem and Judah, every one unto his city. And when the children of Israel came back to Jerusalem, they came back by the hand of Zerubbabel. And then it goes on to catalog each tribe that had been led into captivity and brought back their name and their number. In this passage, there are many fascinating stories and possibilities, many intricate paths that one could go down. You could read about the history of Nebuchadnezzar and his impact on the children of Israel and how God used him for his purpose. You could also read about the children of Israel and their conduct and disobedience and what exactly led them into captivity and what they did to cause God to allow this. There's also the fascinating history of the tribes listed here. But what I want to focus on is the simplest and what I believe the most interesting and amazing aspect of this passage. God knows each of their names and their exact number. But even better than that, God knows each of our names and our exact number. It even says in Matthew 10.30 that he has the very number of hairs on our head counted. I do not believe that is because the Lord has nothing better to do. I believe it's because he is ultimately and intimately aware of every aspect of our lives by his very nature. In Psalms 139.16-17 through 17, it says, Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect, and in thy book all my members were written, which in continuance were fashioned when as yet there was none of them. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God! How great is the sum of them! It even says in verse 15 just before, My substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. So when you read these verses, it becomes apparent that not only is it incredible that God knows our name and numbers, even more incredible, He knows every detail of our lives and is intimately aware. But better than all of this information was written in a book even before any of the events of our lives happened. Why is this important? I don't think that God is trying to make us able to fathom the depths of his love as he does and can. I think it's simply important for us to just know it, accept it, accept the love of God. Also, to see his love in this description and clearly understand without a doubt that there is no other love like it.